Unlike many other children's animated series, Bluey covers all aspects of a child's life, including the highs and lows. Unfortunately, these lows mean the subject of death comes up as well, allowing us to see how the characters have dealt with their grief or the possibility of experiencing it in the future. Although most of Bluey is a fun-loving series about adventures, the solemn episodes receive praise and help children process similar events during their lives. In today's video, we're talking about when Bluey handled instances of death and how it may continue to do so in upcoming episodes. Number 1. The Budgie One of the first episodes to touch on experiencing loss is Copycat when Bluey spends her day mimicking everything Bandit does. Their fun-filled morning quickly ends when Bluey spots a budgie on the ground in pain. She tries to help the bird retrieving a box and blanket like her father had requested. Although they both put in effort to save the hurt bird, the vet later explains that the budgie couldn't pull through. And despite their selfless attempts, no one could save the bird's life. The look of defeat on the six-year-old's face isn't easy to miss, and once they return home, the girl returns to playing with her sister. To help process the troubling event from earlier in the day, Bluey asks Bingo to pretend to be a budgie. They follow through the pretend game, reliving what Bluey had experienced with Bandit, and when the time comes for Chili to act as the vet, Bluey requests that her mom say the bird could not pull through. Watching the girl experience loss is upsetting enough, but then seeing her reenacted again is even more challenging. The way she turns her loss into a game is one of the only ways a child her age can grieve what she has experienced and afterward, she feels much better about what had happened. The episode could help parents struggling to explain a loss to their children or be a tool for older children old enough to realize what Bluey is going through. Although most series wouldn't cover such a sensitive topic early on in the story, Bluey explains complex topics in a way children and parents can easily understand. Number 2. Chili's Mom Since the beginning of the series, fans have speculated that Chili's mom is no longer around or has passed away. The theory spread due to the episode Granddad, where Chili and the girls go to see her dad and spend some time with the older man. The episode is about Chili's past living with her parents, but she doesn't mention or discuss her mother once. The end of this episode shows Chili expressing her concern for her father's declining health, and it seems as though she has already lived through the pain she is experiencing once before. In the newer episode, Dragon, the healer family sits at the table drawing a story together. Due to their inexperience, Bluey and Bingo's drawings are hard to decipher, causing Bandit to struggle until Chili joins the table. She has practiced art for some time as her drawings appear perfect and pristine. The rest of the healer family begins losing motivation for their art until Chili tells them a story from her past. For the first time during a flashback, we meet Chili's mom, a red healer like herself and Bingo. She tells her daughter never to lose hope in her drawings and to keep trying no matter what. Her inspirational words are what have Bluey willing to try again, drawing a detailed dragon. Chili says in this episode how great of a mother she had, and it's easy to see how much she misses her due to her expressions. From the way Chili spoke about her mother, she likely passed before Bluey and Bingo were born, or when they were too young to remember. Number 3. Mort we first meet Chili's father in the episode Granddad, where he plays a game of chase with his granddaughters as they run away from their mom. The episode is the first time we see someone from Chili's side of the family, and it's not during the best circumstances. Chili goes to visit her dad due to his recent heartworm surgery. Throughout the episode, we see the girls hide in places her mom had been when she was their age. And the episode features multiple flashbacks between the four characters. Throughout their game of chase, their granddad Mort struggles to keep up, feeling out of breath as his age catches up with him. He evades his daughter at every turn regardless of his condition, as he and his granddaughters continue to make quick escapes. Finally, after sitting at the docks, Mort gives up, watching Bingo and Bluey swim while waiting for Chili to catch up to them. When she does, he says he is tired and she explains that she wants him to take care of himself for her and her children. Since many suspect that Chili's mom passed away before the beginning of the series, we can assume she's worried about losing her dad. It is no secret that his old age is catching up to him. It worries and pains Chili to watch her dad struggle so much. Unfortunately, as Bluey continues, we can expect to see Mort pass away like his late wife. His passing away will significantly impact Chili and the rest of the healer family. But it would make sense if the series' writers want to try discussing death on a larger scale than in the past. Losing loved ones is challenging but an inevitable part of life, meaning it could have a place as a story in the series. Number 4. Chili's First Child 
One of the more profound and upsetting episodes is the show. Throughout the episode, Bluey and Bingo work together to put on a show for their parents. However, the fun-loving and heartfelt gift takes a sudden turn for the worse. At first, their show is innocent and recaps the many experiences shared between Chili and Bandit. They introduce themselves as their parents before the girls portray Chili's pregnancy, where Bingo puts a blue balloon under her shirt to symbolize Bluey being born. But unfortunately, it pops. Both of their parents' reactions to this mistake have fans speculating that before Bluey was born, Chili unfortunately experienced a miscarriage. Although the girls can recover and continue their show, the fans are stuck on the unfortunate realization that Bluey wasn't the first baby in the family. The realization suggests Chili has experienced struggles with childbirth, like her older sister Brandy. Since the girls don't seem to understand what happened during their story, we can only assume that their parents haven't told them yet or never planned to. If this is true, then Bandit and Chili may have harbored the feeling of loss for their unborn child for some time, as we have no way of knowing how long they waited to have Bluey. The loss of her pregnancy may have struck Chili harder than anything in her past, which was why Bandit had to help her calm down by reaching out for her. The loss of her first child would make sense for Chili's character, as she struggles to let go of their nursery and the baby things she had kept from both girls as we see in Bedroom. Number 5. Nana Chris One of the series' recurring characters is Bandit's mother Nana Chris. She's a prominent member of the Healer family, who attends numerous family functions to spend time with her three sons and their children, meaning she's very close with all four of her granddaughters. Even though she is one of the oldest characters in the series, Chris is always excited to spend time with her grandchildren and give them a memorable experience at her house. Unfortunately, her old age seems to be catching up to her and similar to Chili's dad Mort, there will be a time when Chris can no longer do everything she could before. Losing their grandmother would upset Bluey, Bingo, and their cousins because all four healer girls are still young. Chris is also an integral part of the family, as she's the mother of Bandit and Stripe and Rad, meaning her passing would impact numerous adults in the series. The family could learn to embrace and express their grief together, but not without some trials and tribulations. Unfortunately, every family experiences loss at some point, whether that be early on in childhood or later when they have children of their own. Loss is a universal experience everyone can relate to, and having a series to help prepare younger audiences may be beneficial for families processing grief. Bluey has always been known for showing all parts of a child's life, the good and the bad. While death is one of the heaviest topics to tackle in children's media, Bluey feels more than capable of handling the severity of it with respect and empathy. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads.